Coast News Stories of Service, sponsored by Duval Motor Company. There are thousands of active duty military service members living on the First Coast right now, but have you ever thought about how the equipment that they use gets put together? In this week's Stories of Service, we meet a sailor from NAS Jax who helps pull back the curtain on the process for building helicopters. Long before Navy helicopters are up in the air, they begin here on the ground in production control. On this day, Petty Officer First Class Luis Fernando Rosas Pineda is overseeing the creation and testing of fiber optic cables for electrical work inside of helicopters. There are just millions of pieces that go into making everything happen. And it wasn't until I got into production control where I started seeing how everything came together from every work center to make one helicopter fly. That was the moment that it gives you a bit of a shock effect. The correct length or do we need to do anything in regards to the length of it? No. Rosas Pineda joined the Navy in 2014, but he was born in Mexico City and immigrated to the United States when he was nine years old. He's thrilled to be stationed in Jacksonville. I love all the open areas. I love going trails. I love going to the beach. I love going to the river. I love going to the zoo. Personally, I love Jacksonville. He also loves the impact that he can make as a member of the Navy. That's actually the reason why I joined the Navy, because I wanted to do something that would be meaningful and that perhaps one day I could tell stories to my kids and everybody. With nearly a decade of service so far, he has plenty of stories to tell already. And we like to share your stories of service. If you would like us to spotlight a member of the military or a veteran who is doing great things, send us an email to storiesofservice at firstcoastnews.com. It's an honor to share their stories. Again, that email is storiesofservice at firstcoastnews.com.